Hello friends, in this quick revision video, we are discussing most important questions on pump. There is 60 plus most important MCV on pump. Let's start. Question is, in a centrifugal pump, the liquid enters the pump. In a centrifugal pump, the liquid enters the pump at the center. Option C is right, at the center. Next question is, which of the following pump is successfully used for lifting water to the turbine? The pump used for lifting water to the turbine is jet pump. Answer C is right. Next question is, low specific speed of a pump implies it is. Low specific speed of a pump implies it is centrifugal pump. Answer A is right. Question is for very high discharge at low pressure, such as for flood control and irrigation applications. Following type of pump is preferred. Answer B is right. Axial flow pump is preferred. Next question is head developed by a centrifugal pump is head developed by a centrifugal pump is proportional to diameter and speed of impeller. Option number C is right. Next question is in centrifugal pumps, maximum efficiency is obtained when the blade are maximum efficiency is obtained when the blade are bent backward. Option number C is right. Next question is medium specific speed of a pump implies it is medium specific speed of a pump implies it is mixed flow pump. Option B is right. Question is the optimum value of band exit angle for a centrifugal pump impeller is the optimum value of band exit angle is 20 to 25 degree. Answer B is right. Next question is which of the following pump is suitable for small discharge and high head? Pump suitable for small discharge and high head is reciprocating pump. Question is air vessels in reciprocating pump are used to air vessels in reciprocating pump are used to reduce acceleration to minimum. Option B is right. Question is saving of work done and power by fitting an air vessel to double acting reciprocating pump is of the order of 39.2%. Option A is right. Question is if the net positive suction head requirement for the pump is not satisfied, then cavitation will be formed. Option B is right. Cavitation will be formed. Next question is discharge of a centrifugal pump. Discharge of a centrifugal pump is directly proportional to N. Option A is right. The specific speed from 160 to 500 rpm of a centrifugal pump indicates that the pump is high speed with axial flow at outlet. Option D is right. Next question is saving of work done and power by fitting an air vessel to single acting respiratory pump is the order of 84.8%. Option D is right. Next question is overall efficiency of a centrifugal pump is the ratio of actual work done by the pump to the energy supplied to the pump by prime over. Option B is right. Next question is which of the following pump is generally used to pump highly viscous fluid? The pump used for highly viscous fluid option D is right screw pump. Next question is in order to avoid cavitation in centrifugal pump the suction pressure should be high option A is right suction pressure should be high. Next question is a centrifugal pump will start delivering liquid only when the pressure rise in the impeller is equal to to the manometric head option C is right. Question is if a pump is handling water and is discharging a certain flow Q at a constant total dynamic head requiring a definite BHP. The same pump when handling a liquid of a specific gravity 0.75 and viscosity nearly same as of water would discharge same quantity of liquid. Option A is right. Next question is casting of a centrifugal pump is designed so as to minimize Loss of kinetic energy. Option D is right. Loss of kinetic energy. Question is reciprocating pump are no more to be seen in industrial applications because of high initial and maintenance cost. Option A is right. Next question is multi stage centrifugal pumps are used to obtain. Multi stage centrifugal pump are used to obtain high head. Option B is right. High head. Next question is head developed by a centrifugal pumps depend on head developed by a centrifugal pump depend on speed and impeller diameter option D is right. Next question is axial flow pump is started with its delivery valve. Axial flow pump is started with its delivery valve kept fully open. Option B is right. Kept fully open. Next question is centrifugal pump is started with its delivery valve. Centrifugal pump is started with its delivery valve kept fully closed. Option A is right. Kept fully closed. Question is in a centrifugal pump casing the flow of water leaving the impeller is the flow of water leaving the impeller is free vertex motion option C is right free vertex motion next question is which type of pump is different from other in the same group in the same group the plunger pump is different option D is right the plunger pump is different 
Next question is when a piping system is made up primarily of vertical lift and very little pipe friction, the pump characteristics should be steep. Option C is right. Next question is power required to drive a centrifugal pump is directly proportional to fourth power of diameter of its impeller. Option D is right. Fourth power of diameter. Next question is discharge of a centrifugal pump is discharge of a centrifugal pump is inversely proportional to diameter square of its impeller. Option D is right. Inversely proportional to diameter square. Next question is slip of a reciprocating pump is defined as slip of a reciprocating pump is defined as difference of theoretical discharge and actual discharge. Option C is right. Next question is delivery head of a centrifugal pump is delivery head of a centrifugal pump is directly proportional to n square. Option C is right. Directly proportional to n square. Next question is slip of a reciprocating pump is negative when suction pipe is long and delivery pipe is short and the pump is running at very high speed. Option D is right. Next question, which of the following pump is successfully used for lifting water to the boiler? The pump used for lifting water to the boiler is jet pump. Option C is right, jet pump. Next question is, motion of a liquid in a volute casing of a centrifugal pump is an example of. It is an example of a spiral vertex flow. Option D is right, spiral vertex flow. Question is, the static head of a centrifugal pump is equal to is equal to sum of suction head and delivery head. Option C is right, sum of suction head and delivery head. Next question is the type of centrifugal pump prefer for a specific speed of 20 rpm. For 20 rpm, slow speed pump with radial flow at outlet is used. Option A is right. Next question is high specific speed of a pump implies it is high specific speed of a pump implies it is axial flow pump. Option C is right. Axial flow pump. Next question the flow rate in gear pump. The flow rate in gear pump more or less remain constant with increase in pressure. Option C is right. Next question is mechanical efficiency of a centrifugal pump is the ratio of option A is right energy available at the impeller to the energy supplied to the pump by the prime mover. Next question is which of the following statement is correct? Option A is the centrifugal pump is suitable for large discharge in a smaller head. Option B is the centrifugal pump requires less floor area and simple foundation as compared to reciprocating pump. Option C the efficiency of centrifugal pump is less as compared to reciprocating pump. Option D is right. All of these. Next question is a turbine pump is basically a centrifugal pump equipped additionally with band diffusion casing. Option C is right. Band diffusion casing. Next question is in a centrifugal pump the regulating bulb is provided on the, the regulating bulb is provided on the delivery pipe. Option B is right. Delivery pipe. Next question is the impeller of a centrifugal pump may have volute casing, volute casing with guide blade, but text casing. Option D is right. Any of these any of these next question is indicated diagram of a reciprocating pump is a graph between is a graph between pressure in cylinder versus swept volume option b is right next question is which of the following pump is successfully used for lifting butter from deep well from deep well air lift pump is used answer d is right air lift pump next question is when a piping system is made of primarily of friction head and very little of vertical lift then pump characteristic should be nearly horizontal. Answer B is right. Manometric head in case of centrifugal pump is equal to option A suction lift plus loss of head in suction pipe due to friction plus delivery lift plus loss of head in delivery pipe due to friction plus velocity head in the delivery pipe. Option B bulk done per kilometer no water losses within impeller. Option C energy per kilometer at outlet and inlet of impeller. Option D is right. All of these. Next question is centrifugal pump is a centrifugal pump is a turbo machinery. Option A is right. Centrifugal pump is a turbo machinery. Next question is turbo machines work under turbo machines work under Newton second law. Option B is right. Newton second law. Next question is centrifugal pumps transport fluid by converting. Centrifugal pumps transport fluid by converting kinetic energy to hydrodynamic energy. Option A is right. Next question is the fundamental significance of all the turbo machinery. The fundamental significance of all the turbo machinery is conservation of momentum. Option A is right. Next question is the most common pump used for hydraulic fluid power application is. Pump used for hydraulic fluid power application is gear pump. Option B is right. Gear pump. Next question is gear pumps are mainly used in chemical installations because they pump. Because they pump highly viscosity fluids. Option A is right. Highly viscosity fluid. Next question is vertical centrifugal pumps are also called as vertical centrifugal pumps are also called as cantilever pumps. Option A is right. 
नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन है गियर पंप्स आर गियर पंप्स आर पॉजिटिव डिस्प्लेसमेंट पंप्स गियर पंप्स आर पॉजिटिव डिस्प्लेसमेंट पंप आंसर बी इज राइट नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज व्हाट इज द शेप ऑफ द डिफ्यूजर इन द सेंट्रीफ्यूगल पंप द शेप ऑफ द डिफ्यूजर इन द सेंट्रीफ्यूगल पंप इज टफ नट ऑप्शन बी इज राइट नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज व्हाट इज द मेजर एडवांटेज ऑफ सेंट्रीफ्यूगल पंप द मेजर एडवांटेज ऑफ सेंट्रीफ्यूगल पंप इज सिंपल इन कंस्ट्रक्शन ऑप्शन बी इज राइट सिंपल इन कंस्ट्रक्शन नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज द यूनिट ऑफ स्टैंडर्ड एक्सलेशन ऑफ द सेंट्रीफ्यूगल पंप इज द यूनिट ऑफ स्टैंडर्ड एक्सलेशन इज किलोग्राम पर मीटर क्यू ऑप्शन सी इज राइट नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज द हेड एडेड बाय द पंप इज द सम ऑफ द हेड एडेड बाय द पंप इज द सम ऑफ स्टैटिक लिफ्ट आंसर बी इज राइट स्टैटिक लिफ्ट नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज व्हिच अमंग द फॉलोइंग इज यूज्ड इन मिनरल इंडस्ट्री इन मिनरल इंडस्ट्री फ्रोथ पंप इज यूज्ड ऑप्शन सी इज राइट फ्रोथ पंप इज यूज्ड नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज वर्टिकल पंप यूजेस वर्टिकल पंप यूजेस थ्रोटल बुस ऑप्शन बी इज राइट थ्रोटल बुस नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज द मोस्ट कॉमन एप्लीकेशन ऑफ वर्टिकल सेंट्रीफ्यूगल पंप इज यूज्ड इन वर्टिकल सेंट्रीफ्यूगल पंप इज यूज्ड इन पार्ट्स वॉशर ऑप्शन ए इज राइट नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज द पॉइंट एट व्हिच द सेंट्रीफ्यूगल पंप ऑपरेट्स एट मैक्सिमम एफिशिएंसी इज कॉल्ड ड्यूटी पॉइंट ऑप्शन ए इज राइट ड्यूटी पॉइंट I think this is very helpful video for you in many exams thank you for watching please support us by subscribing our channel and sharing the video